615. Um, away we go. Um, we've got this meeting posted publicly in three places, right? Yep. And on the website and emailed interested parties. So let's go ahead and legally have this um, meeting. Is there um, anything else anybody wants to talk about that's not on the agenda? We've just got, got the open the sidewalk bids. It's on there now. Yep. Yep. Okay, so um, let's start off with the minutes from the June 13th meeting. And I looked at those and they look appropriate to me. I just read them, they were fine to me. Right, I moved to approve them. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, all right. Thank you, Julie, for Aye. typing those up. And um, we have, um, and guess here, well, we've got, um, is Joan in here? She's coming. She's coming. So, Tony, why don't we um, jump right to you? What's, what's happening? I see we have a, um, a park use application. Is that um, in the library or no? Yeah. Yes. There's yeah. a couple. Yeah. A couple of them. Yeah. yeah. All right. There's the uh, Chris Suzuki. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yep, yep. So we've got um, one on July 16th from 9 to 12 for the children's summer reading and performer concert. And um, we also have one on July 26th and um, from 5 to 8 for the Humanities Council talk on microbreweries in Vermont. And free tasting served by a licensed bartender, microbrewer. Which one? <laughs> Tony. Tony. Tony, oh, is it? Right. Um, so I'd, um, I guess we could start with the July 16th one. I'd move to approve that. A second. All in favor? All right. Aye. And then, um, and then the second one on... Um, July 26th and from five to eight, uh, the talk on microbreweries. So it's okay yeah. to do alcohol on the park. Um, they're not- um, Not serving, are you, Tony? Do you know? Tasting. Well, it sounds as if they might be- Sounds as if they might be them tasting. They're not serving, but they're tasting. Yeah. Tasting. And serving. So that's oh. kind of serving, <laughs> yeah. So, um, but I think that that would have to be, the tasting would have to be across the street in Pierce Hall or something and not, right. not on the park. No, it's I don't not think on that the library we, grounds yeah. either, right? Yeah. Um, or they'd have to have a caterer. Well, they do have a licensed bartender. Um, right. They'd there. have to do a permit. What's the ordinance say on the park, about the park? Right, well, we allow like weddings on the park to say alcohol. <coughs> Allowed? Generally, not. I haven't seen receptions on the park. It's more yeah, like it's a ceremony. Different. Yeah. No. So I think that we could uh, approve this minus the the free tastings. I mean, they could give you beer to take home and drink. <laughs> <laughs> Samples to go. <laughs> you but, step out in the middle yeah. of Route One Hundred and taste it. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know if um if they're you um. Give it to them can do that that would be they something you'd have to check in maybe with pierce hall they could do it okay. yeah. do it there so um yeah, i think they have the li well, in library's the library's town too, when the in in the front of the inn anyway. yeah. yeah yeah well these are on the park but in front of the inn where people would come out but uh, mm -hmm. that's right we can we can check that out yeah okay that date is far enough away so yeah you got time so i i yeah. we ought to check the ordinance too yeah. to see what the park ordinance says I so can they has. use the library no that's, well, that's town property town. too same as the park yeah park, so i you know, i moved to approve this minus the the free tastings so still we can have the talk on the park that's that's a party killer <laughs> but maybe maybe we can work it out somehow. <laughs> but yeah, I think we need to look into it a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. The lawn at the park house. Okay. Do you want to just table this whole whole park application until we dig into it further, or or we'll do, is, that, do that part? That's okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll um, yeah. do the talk. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
Um, so I move to approve this application for July 26 for the uh, talk on microbreweries, but we're going to veto the free tastings. I second that. No in favor? All right. Aye. All right. Okay. It's kind of a party killer, though. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you let one, and then they're all going to come in. Yeah. We'll have drinking on the park every day. All right. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to talk about, library wise? Yeah, I just wanted to uh, say uh, we had a talk scheduled for, I think it's tomorrow, yeah, uh, but our guest speaker got COVID, so he will not be there. Mm -hmm. This was a talk on uh, the CCC camps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds kind of interesting, but anyway, he'll come back later. Okay. Not tomorrow. I have talked to Andrea Kurz, our Murray, and the, the she's having this guy that's doing some work at the Carlo farm, this outfit, and he's willing to come down and just look and see what he would recommend doing there at the library for seeing what he his thoughts on it as far as what we need to do for repairs there and how to address that. So I'm still in the process of you know, trying to figure that out, but he's willing to come down and look at it just to give us an idea of what to do. So, all right. And we probably should get working on that sort of thing. How to get some bids and things. Yeah, it'll be. It won't be this year, Tony. I think it's. We're probably looking at next year at least. You know, but it is on the. You know, it is in, in out there. You know. All right. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Is um Joan in? No? no, I'm here. All right, <laughs> welcome. Happy summer. <laughs> ah, thank you. Um, I really don't have anything to report. All right. Unless you have, have you, you haven't opened a bid yet, right, for the sidewalk? No, we haven't. Not yet. Okay. Well, that's that's really only the only thing I have. So. All right. Okay. Then we'll um. You can um, chime in on that when we get to that. Um, Terry, got anything in particular you want to talk about? Just no. Thank you for um, hosting the benefit for Eric Bellinger. Yeah, we had a real good turnout. Yeah, that yeah, was good. The only thing is mowing and stuff, right? Yeah. Needs I'll speak with John. He hasn't done anything we write. On the lower fields. All right. Um, Jeff, is Jeff get part here? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Uh, hello, Jeff. Uh, the only the only thing that I have is that it does look like a small group in the energy committee would like to do a um, electric vehicle entry in the parade. So I provided them the information that Martha provided to me um, for completion. Um, I did hear from Mike Tietzel that um, they were thinking of do they would like to do a, a resource table on the park and park the four, maybe five cars there after the parade. So I said I would ask uh, whether the select board would uh, approve of that component. The uh, parade I, does park around the park. Anyway. The um, yeah. yeah, the parade does kind of park around the park as it is. I think that's if that's folded into the Fourth of July celebrate celebrations. So it seems that's I don't know if you need to have a separate permit for that. Who's someone has to chime in there? Yeah, Jeff. I just wanted to mention since I'm the parade coordinator that um just have to make sure I was thinking you'd be parking more over towards the side of the park where this towards the skip mart because I have there's a band the band the whoever shows up jam band is going to be on the um, bandstand and the porta potties are right there and over on the park uh, probably to more towards the um, Huntington house Linda Anderson is doing the games for kids 
So, and the barbecue is going to, they're going to be serving people, I think, on the side of the parks um, towards the sidewalks there. So um, you probably could fit in if, as long as I think you're going to be more over towards the skip mark that way. Yeah, we're, we'll, they would go wherever directed. Well, so. that's, that's, you know, look when you get there. And I did get your email. So um, when I get the email from him, I, there was nothing attached to it. When he, he sends me the forms, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, I, I did. I know I copied you on what I sent to my. He copied it, but he didn't. Re I don't think he's filled them out and sent them to me. So I, I no, not I, yet. He just got them today. Okay, thank you. Sorry to interrupt the meeting, but I just wanted to, you know, mention that. Yeah, thank you. Clarify. I guess this is would be appropriate to put the electric cars kind of across the street from the gas station. It kind of makes a little contrast. <laughs> there. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. We can put a dollar nineteen per gallon. It's the equivalent. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> I had an um, interesting request from someone asked me to find out how much it costs to charge an electric bike the other week, and I dug around and I found five cents <laughs> to charge an electric bike, an average charge, which is um, that's a that's pretty reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, after you spend seven thousand to get one. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you want a nice one? And I need a sidecar. <laughs> hey, Jeff, are you around now? Are you going to be going anywhere? I'm here this week. Okay, uh, I want to meet with you at the town garage and go over some things down there uh, to look before winter of maybe getting some insulation on that wall and see what you think about that i i uh let's see wednesday is my mo wednesday thursday are my most open days anytime okay those two days would work I'll, I'll give you a call then set something up with you okay so we can go through that all right cool. all right thank you jeff the only other thought i had is i'm i'm kind of wondering about the uh what do you call it? The master financial policy, mm -hmm. and whether some reference to the uh, climate emergency declaration and our consideration of energy issues um, during financial planning, um, you know, whether we could insert or would it be appropriate to insert some language into that. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think that's on the master plan, Jeff. I think that should go with, with the capital planning, which mm -hmm. is a whole different aspect. Um, we're currently in the process of rewriting the capital plan. So um, I think we're canceling this week's meeting because of people being out of town. And also it's so close to the end of the fiscal year, um, but we will be picking that up. And I, I'll speak with you about that at the when we meet at the town garage, we're kind of putting together a synopsis of the community and, and what the next five years is going to look like. So yep. that should okay. go with that capital plan and we can get together with that and figure something out. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Good. Great. Thank you. All right. I'm going to move on to new business and we've got um, one bid for the sidewalk project. Uh, I think Joan was one that received them. Yeah, yeah Joan did. Joan, you want to speak up to that? Yes, we uh, sent out invitations to four potential bidders and only one bid came in. And um, do you want to open that and tell us what you got? You don't have the document there? I sent I... it to Julie. I don't think. Did you send it like after, like an like within the within the hour? Uh, no, it was last week. Oh, no, I'm not getting your emails. I'm sorry. I'll uh, I'll see if I can do you um. Uh, you know well, well, you know, Joan, could you share it with it? What it is? Because we don't have it here. Uh, um, yeah. No. Give me a minute. I'll have to go um, get into my. Uh, computer files and yep. get that for you. All right. Um, can I send an email to somebody there? Julie, can I send it to your email? 
or you can, you can send something. it to me, Joan, if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you can send I'm it. Sorry. Send it, to me. it was supposed to be printed out for you, Frank, so you had a cop meeting, but that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can send it to me and I'll send it to Julie or you can send it to Julie. I don't uh, Okay, I'll send it to you, Frank. <clears throat> okay. Is that going to take a little while for you to fire up your computer? Yeah, it's going to take me a couple of minutes. All right, so we'll uh, move on we'll then while you're digging that up to the um, Vermont Elevator Inspection Services Incorporated Renewal Agreement. Um, mm -hmm. It's something that we have not much choice but to go ahead and then say, sure, come inspect our cute little elevator over here. They actually, is this doing Pierce Hall too, right? Uh, that in the library. In the library. And they're willing to keep the rates the same for the next three years. So that's why I thought it would be a good idea to jump on while rates, that rate yeah, isn't going yeah, up. Yeah. So that'd be $900 for three years for the library and the town office. Is that so correct? it's 150 for each of us. So three, yes, nine. Yeah. yeah. So it sounds like like a great thing to do. Yeah. No, I I'd move to approve or accept that. I second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. Aye. No money has to be paid on that up front. Is that correct? Is that how I read that? We have, um, it didn't look like it, but you probably bill it after they do it. Yeah. Um, we have uh, another park use application from Green Mountain Suzuki Institute, which is coming back to town again. And this will be from July 10th through 15th from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. And as we know, the student and family usage of park and gazebo picnicking and playing, practicing um, for their music camp. So. Does that conflict with anything else that we've approved in the last couple months? <laughs> oh, the only thing is the farmer's market on Friday. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a okay. problem. Yep. And, and actually, it was interesting. So we had a lot of applications for the 25th. And it turned out that um, the Dorothy Robson event was well after that all the bikers went through. So that really wouldn't have been a conflict. But. I think it's probably just as well that they had their um, their rest stop at the Lions Club Park because mm -hmm. uh, it was a hot day and I was doing that. I would have wanted to jump in the river. I don't know if you can find the river. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> well, you know, I, um, speaking of that park, um, and that, this is off the subject, but those picnic tables up there are pretty, are pretty dilapidated yeah. condition. Is that a, a bad liability for us? If yeah. somebody rotten picnic table. Yeah. If somebody sits on one of those, are we liable for that? Yeah. I would yeah. think we would be, right? Um, are you talking about the park in the village or the one down by the no, fire? Lions Club. At the yeah. Lions Club. Oh, means, okay, okay, sorry. Did they not get put away or they're just right? there all the they time? Tip them up. I think, I think just just, tip them up just something that was inherited. Really, you know, <laughs> something we inherited, I guess. Yeah. So that's um we should probably take a look at that and yeah, I'll, I'll look at those and I'll get John and the boys to go up there and get them yeah. if they're bad. And we'll just yeah. burn them, put them in the burn pile, I guess. Right. Yeah, we've talked about getting some others, some new ones over there, but we haven't done it and they're expensive. Yeah. You're wearing mm -hmm. your Lions Club hat now. Yeah. yeah. I just wonder about the liability. We, you know, we may have a, I think we still have a couple left in the, in the firehouse over here. We haven't put them all out on the park, I don't think. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe share oh, with one God. down there. We could always stick one down there, I suppose. Mm. I'll pick um, the yeah, yeah, a lot of people do. They do. Right, right. I, um, I, interested to hear that because I had several people say to me um, this weekend um, that they thought we had less picnic tables and benches on the park than usual and I said I don't know the guys put them out but um, so, th so apparently they didn't all put them out put them all out or something yeah because um, <clears throat> they um, they hadn't spread the fertilizer yet and I wanted to wait until that so I stopped them from putting any more out 
and then they spread the fertilizer, but they just haven't got got around to put the rest of the tables out. Okay. So. Well, with Fourth of July coming and everything, if it's possible to put anything out extra, um, you know, anything out, that would be wonderful. Well, we'll see what we got left out there. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I think there's one or two left. But okay, not, thank you. Thank you. Yep. Jeff okay. Brown would probably do some of that. What's that? Jeff Brown would probably work on the tables because he's a member of the Lions Club. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, speaking of um, the Suzuki Institute wanting to use the park, um, we kind of diverged from that, but I'd move to approve their park use application. Second. All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Okay. All right, Joan, you just tell me when you find that, when you've got that email sent. Um, what did you find out, Julie, about the Mascoma Bank credit card services? Have you so the the, cre the Mascoma credit card machine, it will cost the town $250 for just a one-time fee. And uh, we did find out that the receipts uh, can be typed in with a uh, detailed transaction for whatever transaction it is for, whether it's a dog license to records, you know, from a lawyer wants to pay for their records or, you know, just anything mm -hmm. anybody wants to pay for, we can just type it in and do a cash receipt after. So, so and you feeling that's... Oh, uh, we be... get, I mean, every day people are asking, can you take credit card? Can you can take, take credit, credit card? card. Yeah. So, and we just, we don't yeah. have a way to... Um, Nancy, are you saying something? You're, you're oh, muted. You're muted. There's, there's no fee to the town. The fee is, um, the fee is uh, with the, the cardholder. So that whoever uses their card, the fee would, um, they would go to is yeah. added on to their card. Yep. 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 Yeah. And that's for the machine. Yeah. Well, it's, um, it's the way things are going. I think that we should probably do it. We should jump right in the credit card pool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, I agree. Just yeah. Yeah. yeah, all right, I agree. So let's do it. I guess I'd move to uh, prove that um, contract with the Mascoma Bank credit card services and pay their $250 fee for the machine. But the transactions put through that machine will result in um, no discount fee to the town. The fees are added to the expense of whoever's using their card. Yep. Okay. That's correct. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thanks for digging into that. Sure. Um, we were talking earlier about the... Um, Rick, I, it's Joan. Um, my computer has frozen up, so um, I can't... I can see the screen, but I can't uh, interact with it for some reason. Can you but just I did share send you the email that contained the bid. So I'm hoping you're- um, I got it here, Joel. Okay, bye. Thank you. Okay, it's 350 feet of new sidewalk. Um, her specifications is 46,000 and 75 feet of new granite curb installed, 6,500. So it's 5250. 5500. Yep. 5250. Sorry. 5250? No. no. 52,500. It was okay. 5250. We do the whole town. Sure. Yeah. So 52,500. And who was it that gave the bid? I didn't hear who gave the bid. We we were uh Excavating. We were excavating. That's the same um, group that was doing the um, um, storm drains in town. And what's the name? I didn't hear the name. I'm sorry. Weaver. Weaver excavating. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. So that goes down to the park house. Yes. Mm -hmm. No. Is that no. going down? It it yeah. goes to in front of the park house. Oh yeah. It's 
in front of after. There, yeah. No, we're digging it out down a foot and re putting two inches in there for a hundred feet going to the utility pole so, so that when they come out to pave, it'll be all paved there. It'll pave right up to the new pavement. Mm -hmm. And we're doing from the end of the hardware to Bethel Mountain Road. Curbing will be installed in front of uh, Books and Bakery in the bookstore to define the sidewalk there. But nothing at the skip mark. No, it'll just be yeah. repaved okay. and re yeah. repaved and redug. So that's okay. all smooth. So when the state comes through to pave, they'll pave up to that. So then put a line there so people. Need yeah, we'll, sash, just we'll have to paint a line through paint there. A line. We yeah. got a machine right down there and do it. Yeah. yeah. That takes canisters because that's how it used to do all the lines in the parking lot there. So we'll do that when you know it's done. And like I do is run a string, right. not a big deal. Right. And we'll do the same down by the park house. Right. Just to define it that way. I hope you got it written in there going to grout these. Well, we didn't, so that'll this, be you. Excuse me, this is am I correct? Oh, this is oh, from oh, in oh. front of the hardware to up past the park house. No, it's, correct. It's, yes, it's to from the, the hardware to the to the oh, Bethel oh. Mountain Road and from the park. Right, uh, what is that park row yeah. going up from park row to in front of the park house? It's another hundred feet to where the grass starts right in front of your house, Martha. Okay, well, we've Thank been you. putting this off forever. This, um, ARPA money is our opportunity to take a stab at these two spots. I I'd go back spending three quarters of it on the sidewalk. Yeah. Well, we're right now. Do you have those balances that we talked about I don't know. today? Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, it's it, roughly we've roughly spent about a hundred thousand with this, and we've got about sixty left over of the first few so, so That's the first half. So next yeah. year we're getting another. I don't know if it's next year or next. That's supposed to be in August. July, right? uh, August, September. Oh, yeah. So we still have 60,000 that we haven't done anything with. So before the next installment. Before the next right. installment. Yeah. Yeah. I'd ask them to grab that stuff because I'll tell you what, what they did over there when the water runs down through there and frost gets it, that's going to ruin that. Five years, you're going to have to redo that sidewalk. The grout between the curbing and yeah. the no, the where you curbing butts. No. You know, it's all supposed to be grouted. They were when they took them out. Excuse me, am I correct that the whole fifty-two thousand five hundred is going to be paid for with ARPA money? Can we still do it. Yeah, that's so correct. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Really need to do the whole things when they're open. Why? In there and it's going to freeze and eat it. For 52,000, they ought to be able to put the ground in. Yeah. Well, I'll check with them, see yeah. what they say. Yeah. So I uh, move to accept that bid. It's our only one. It's our only I one. second. All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. All right. All right. And that work will be done this year. Oh yeah, he's yeah. He'll start. I know you were talking about before the paving. So. Yeah, we we put an end date on that on August tenth. Okay. For the job to be completed, so All right. I think he's going to get right. That's important it. too. Right. Finding a contractor because everybody's got ARPA money, so. Right. Everybody's doing the same thing. So uh, we had the um, next on the agenda was a talking about the old constable utility trailer, which was used to haul lights and cones and uh, what have you for um, click it or ticket events. Um, and which has now been, I guess now it's sitting in the gravel pit up there. It hasn't been used as a target practice yet. <laughs> no, no, okay. Not yet. Um, and we have offered that to other 
sheriff's departments with no interest and to um, to the Hancock Fire Department and they're, they're not yeah. interested and it's, um, the um, suggestion now is to donate it to the local trail club for using for their tools to put them all in one place. I think in, <clears throat> in light of the current situation though, I think we need to find out if we can sell this trailer outright. And if we can, we probably should do it that way instead it. of gift it. Instead of gift it? Yeah. If, if we can't, um, if we have to give it to a nonprofit, then I'm all for it. But if we can sell this thing outright, then pro we probably should yeah. and get some money for it. Can we check with uh, Jeff Brown to see if there's any use as animal control <laughs> officer to have a trailer to transport animals? I don't <laughs> I bet it's just, too airtight. Yeah. I, I just thought I'd ask, throw I that out there. Um, <laughs> one last, we've offered it to everybody else in town. Nancy, you have some input? I don't think we ever paid for it. I think it came through the governor's account. What through the governor's? She And she was saying she doesn't think we ever paid for it. This was through some governor's grant for equipment. Yeah, know, I think everybody did get it for that governor. Yeah. Seat belt thing, I think. So, you remember, yeah. you get money for that. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Well, they, you might not be able to sell it. Oh, okay. Let's see, that's what right. we, need to, well, find that's, out. we need to find out where it came from. Right. You're pretty um low reception on your, turn your um, volume up. Turn your volume up, maybe. Yeah. Or if we stop talking, maybe we can hear you. Can you hear me now? Oh, there much you go. Better. Much better. Okay. Um. I think if you go back in the town report to like 2014, you'll see Tom was very specific about everything that came through the governor's safety council when he was doing his inventory. So if you go to a 2014, 13, or 15, there, there will be a note in there. There'll be an asterisk in there about if that trailer was in fact part of that. Could you hear me? Yep, yep. All right, so I guess we should table that decision until we dig in a little bad. deeper. Yep, <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm right. for that. We'll okay. kind of trail it along, I guess I'd say. But I think you'll, I think if even if you went in right now and pulled out one of those town reports, you'd find it. Well, we would need the backup to tell us what the stipulation of the donation was all about. Well, everybody has always said you couldn't sell anything that came from the governor's safety council. Right. So if we online security. Yeah. Yeah. So could we get one of those reports right now? So we can make a decision on this right off, right? I bet. I got it. What's that? But I won't say we'll we just say it. we have it. I don't know if it'll say where we got it. Yeah. But. Um there'll be an asterisk on it. Which would mean? Which would mean it came from the governor's safety council, but we didn't pay for it. Okay. It was another one of those free things that Tom was always getting. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, um, while she's digging for that, we also have a. Um, um, from the local snowmobile club, uh, permission for trail use work. This is their form for a landowner permission form. And um, for the Mount Cushman Trail between WR 16 and WR 18. Um, basically, they, um, they want asking permission to uh, maintain the trail in there. And I don't know if they're going to. You got to wash out. Wash out. Up that first hill. Or... Yeah. Need a cover. Over. Yeah. Plugged up and it's hard to get up through there with Roman. Oh, yeah. Where yeah. are we? Uh, Mount Cushman Road. Cushman Road. Okay. That yeah, first it's town trail. legal trail mm -hmm. there. That yeah. they want to do some debrushing up on up in there. Yeah. Where they clear cut it. Or yeah, it's growing up. In. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've um, got no problems with that. I'd, I'd move to sign that. I signed that. Permission. All in favor? You good Hi. with that, Frank? You're yes, good. I am good. Okay. Cool. Hi. All right. 
so that trailer <clears throat> was uh, received from the Governor's Highway Safety Council. It's free equipment. Yeah. Oh, yeah and they were, it. we can't sell it then. So all items received through grant funds. So, so can we uh, donate it to a nonprofit? I would say probably we're probably okay to do that, right? You want to just put the situation that they can't sell it. They can't sell it. Right. right. Well, it, right. that would be the only other thing. Yeah. I would guess. Not music that came in. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's How about just we ask them bit. to store it for us? <laughs> yeah. They go. can use it while they're storing it. <laughs> but it's um it's nobody wants it. Yeah. But I mean that's gonna be the only thing. Yeah, they just can't turn around and sell it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If you ever got audited, you're gonna have to show up. Yeah. Show where that is. Yeah. Show where what we did with it. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Um, I move to make the donut. Well, actually, since I'm part of that trail club, I should recuse myself and not. Well, is that how we want to word it? No, I wouldn't say it's a donation. I'd say they could use it. They could use it? Yeah, for starters. Right, and right. then we'll find out okay, what the legalities out. Right. Of, right. of so, it are and go from there. I move that we allow the uh, outdoor. The Ridgeline. Ridgeline outdoor. outdoor Collective to use our trailer for safety storage safety purposes and um and i would recommend that we um give them the responsibility for plating it insuring it yeah. so they need to support it insure it and care for it yeah good okay second that i second that all in favor? Aye. Aye. All that's been, but I agree. All right. Sometimes all that free stuff makes a good deal. I know. <laughs> like you many. said, there's nothing, there's no such thing baggage. as a free sale. Comes baggage. <laughs> yeah. So the um, master financial policy is under the old business heading still. Is there any? Well, you want to talk about that tonight? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, well, I agree. Yeah. Um, we have an announcement that the office is going to be closed uh, Friday, July 1 through July 4th and opening again on July 5th um, for, to close the books for the fiscal year. Just um, FYI. I also have an announcement. Oh, yeah? I do. Um, the select board is planning on calling a special one meeting for July 13th at 7 p.m. at the auditorium for the high school repurposing committee to give a report on the received feasibility study. Um, this is just an announcement heads up. We will be warning it in due time. Um, everyone welcome. It's a public meeting. So if it's well, that. Uh, someone will need to take notes. I won't be here. Okay. And I won't be able to do I the think, wording. Uh, I think they're making arrangements for Zoom as well. Okay. And the Orca. Then, then I could probably, or Orca. So I, right. I, I'll have to make sure that they invite Orca. Okay. okay. And then I can just get it off of that. What time's that? Seven o'clock, July 13th. Excuse me, what did I just miss? Someone was knocking my back door with a form for the pit parade. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> On July 13th, there's going to be an informational meeting at the high school in the auditorium about the um, high school repurposing committee. The high the school feasibility repurposing report. committee's feasibility study presentation. Okay, so at what time? Is it the same Seven. Night? Okay, the 13th at 7 p.m. info meeting in the auditorium. Um, the presentation the by the repurposing mm -hmm. committee. Yeah. Those yes. Wrong, no. <laughs> okay, sorry to interrupt you. Did I miss anything else there? I don't think so. I hope not. Um, no, it'll, just be, it'll also be warned. Okay. But I should yeah. put it in the article. Maybe, maybe they'll be sending me something to put in next week's paper about it themselves. <laughs> you and, can put and it in this week. Yeah. next week. 
when I left um, to open the door, it was something you were talking about the office, town office being closed July 1st to the 4th. And what was that for? That was for? Um, to close the books for the fiscal year. To close the books for the fiscal year. Okay, thank you. And reopen on the 5th? Yes. Fiscal year. Reopen on 5th. Okay, thank you. It's, very just, much. It, it's just basically Friday will be closed. Okay, right. Yeah. Sorry, thank you very much. That's okay. oh, on, yeah. on, the, um, on the agenda, it said that um, the next meeting is Monday the 4th, so that's really supposed to be the 11th, right? Yeah, uh, yeah I corrected it everywhere, yeah. but the one that went out with the notification. Okay, all right, okay. thank you. Sorry to bother you. Thank you. Nope, no problem. All right, um, anything else anybody would like to speak about tonight? Then uh, I move to adjourn. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you all very much.